the rise of New India started to take roots with the path-breaking measures of the visionary Prime Minister of India who dreamed of leading the nation into a new era of digital growth and development. Today, Sri Narendra Modi's pioneering digital inclusion initiative has not only modernized the Indian economy but also empowering the society and visibly transforming the quality of governance. Digital India is bringing more transparency in all aspects, including doing business. India has climbed 23 spots higher from a year ago to rank 77 out of 190 countries in the World Bank's latest report on the ease of doing business. The ease of doing business in India improved notably after a series of reforms made by the current government making the process transparent, fast, efficient and easy for companies to registering land, getting construction permits, environmental approvals, electricity and other utility connections, pay taxes, etc. Goods and Services Tax Network www.gst.gov.in has created a one-stop solution for all legal processes of GST like registration, return filing, payment of tax and filing of refunds. This has been developed using state-of-the-art technology in order to handle the high volume of load and has integration with multiple agencies like RBI, banks and customs. The GST portal today enables complete online filing of registration, return filing, payment of taxes thus obviating the need for taxpayers to visit any tax office. Even the refund applications are filed online and for exporters, the entire process is automated and within six to seven days, they get back their money in their account. The central public procurement portal of Government of India has facilitated all the central government organizations to publish the tenders, upload tenders and award of contract details online. Central procurement portal has made lives of vendors like us really easy by making the system transparent, fast and easy to use. The system is widely being used in 28 states and union territories as well as 400 plus central government organizations. Another very important initiative of Government of India is Government e-Marketplace that is gem.gov.in. This portal facilitates online procurement of common use goods and services required by various government departments, organizations or PSUs. GEM has enhanced the transparency, efficiency and speed in public procurement. GEM portal has empowered even small traders to register and sell their products to government agencies. Now because of this portal which is open, it's uh, barrier free at the point of entry. And from a small pencil, from a stationary item, two large servers, IT routers, uh, anybody who is equipped, authorized by the manufacturer to sell can now directly engage with the government. And government, when I say, is not just the national government, but a municipal panchayat, a town area committee in a small Mofasil area. After uh, GEM, uh, it is a very good experience to work in uh, government sector, we have done uh, 150 orders for approximately value 1.5 CR. While the government of India is making it easy for the businessmen, entrepreneurs and traders by enabling off ease of doing business in India, it has also made it easy for the job seekers to look for and find a suitable career for them via National Career Service www.ncs.gov.in provides opportunities with the aspirations of youth. This portal facilitates registration of job seekers, job providers, skill providers, career counsellors, etc. The portal provides job matching services in a highly transparent and user-friendly manner. National Career Service is an amazing website which has a special section for women's job. After completion of my studies, I have registered in the portal and now I am working as a web designer in an IT company. Digital India is on a firm footing and is all geared to further enhance India's global position in ease of doing business. Digital India, power to empower.